Yo, 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 this is Chopper the Beatboxer, a.k.a. the Beast. <laughs> You're listening to LFOD Radio. <laughs> yo, what's up? This is Decoy, and this is a big shout out to LFOD Radio. You are now tuned in to LFOD Radio. Live free or die. I am your host, Uncle Sam, and tonight I'm about to be joined by Chopper the Beatboxer and decoy this panel was actually inspired by a convo with Chapa. he reached out about having a beatbox cypher he meant having mcs rap over his beatboxing i took it to mean getting a bunch of beatboxers together to talk about the craft and here we are so i was familiar with him from rec shop and some other events decoy we met via hershey and he's ranked as one of the top eight beatboxers in america and is the ceo of beatbox talk a platform for beatboxers and battles. Rocking out with these guys shortly. If you're listening on the broadcast, you can hear past episodes on Apple, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Google Play, Stitcher, LFODradio.com, and pretty much any other podcast app. Subscribe there to get new episodes right away. You're going to want to subscribe on YouTube too because you're going to want to see these guys go out. You're going to want to see these guys go off after. They're going to be, uh, well, we don't quite know yet, but we're about to find out what they're going to be doing. And you can hit us up at LFOD Radio or LFOD Life on Facebook. And as always, shout out to our patrons and The Record Co. for having us here. We're going to get into some new music, and we'll be back with Choppa and Decoy after this. Peace. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
So we just had a bunch of music there. Artists, send us your clean records at submissions at LFODradio.com. That's how we get it all. We are back right now with Chop of the Beatboxer. Yes, sir. And Decoy. What's up, man? Decoy, you came with the... Like, you were dripping more than I expected. Right? <laughs> I'm slacking over here. Gotta come prepared, man. <laughs> Can we talk about this? Yeah, of course. So I got this uh, custom made right before American Champs last year. Um, I got the Beatbox Talk logo, which we'll get into later. And then here's like Esh, which is like a common phrase in the Beatbox community. There's not really an explanation exactly for it. but And uh, I got my stage name right here. Word. Dope. Yeah. So I know a rapper named Ash, but I don't think either of us knew that it was a beatbox thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> it doesn't mean it. It's just like a... Yeah, it's just like a... like. I, I don't even know how, what to compare it to, like, yo, or, like, I, I, don't, I don't know. Is it a greeting? <laughs> it's like, I, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's like a, they turned that snare sound into, like, a word. Okay. And it just became, like, popular. Word. Yeah. So it's just like one of those beatbox lingos. Like if you know about beatbox and you see that, it's like, all right, I know okay. what's up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, dude, this is what we're here to do is learn. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> one thing I realized art. is like I don't know a ton about the beatbox scene, so I'm hoping to learn and then have other people learn at the same time. Nice. Yeah. We all got the black and white memo, at least, though. Right, Everyone's right. doing that on some Skin. level. So <laughs> nice. Everyone tuned in. you got to watch the videos if you want to understand any of this. <laughs> so, and Choppa, congrats Sorry. to you on taking the BAMS Fest stage oh, yeah. last summer. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. And uh, hopefully I'll be on there again this, oh, yeah, this year. That's what's so. up. Yeah, dude, your name is definitely buzzing in Boston. Uh, we reached out for suggestions for this panel, mm -hmm. and obviously you knew you had started it, but I had to start adding other than Choppa because right. that kept right. being the response. <laughs> yeah. Nice. So, and I wanted to ask about that right off rip because mm -hmm. a lot of beatboxers are heavy on Instagram. Right, right. Yours is private. Right. I get why. Right. And you seem like you move around mostly offline. Yeah. So how how do you go about getting your name out like that? See, like, and that's that's a great question because, like, in this day and age, everything's about you know social media and. But like, I've been doing this a long time. Like, like I was uh, having a conversation with my my homie right here outside, and uh, I was telling him I was I was beatboxing since the MySpace days. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I was getting shows literally off MySpace. Like, I would network. This was back when, you know, it was first coming out. It was on the rise. And I used to go to any open mic. I'd find any colleges that had budgets because that's where I knew colleges had budgets. Like, I had to move different back then. Like, it was a different grind. It was a different mindset. But, like, even now, this all doing all that in the past has created this path for me now where I can just, you know, say, yo, yo, what's up? You got this event. Can I hop on? They're like, oh, yeah, Chopper. We could definitely throw him on. You know what I mean? It's just like I built a rapport, and I, I, I call it word of mouth. You know what I mean? No point intended. <laughs> yeah. If that's what's up, because it's like on the flip side, Decoy is super active online. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, I mean, you even create your own platform for beatboxers. Yeah. I have oh. to ask. So I was reading your bio. So your top eight in America, where does yeah. that come from? So there's the American Beatbox Championships that happen every year. They actually recently just happened in Brooklyn, uh, November like 9th, I think, that weekend. Um, so I placed top eight there. Um, I passed the elimination stage first, which is online. And then they select the top 32 beatboxers. They do a live limb 
at the actual event. And then they pick the top 16 to battle it out. And, you know, then it goes top eight, top four, finals, etc. So I won my first battle after I passed the live limbs, and that got me into top eight. I did the same last year, so. Okay. Yeah, top eight twice now. Hopefully. So you are nice. definitely top eight. Yeah. <laughs> Dope. Yeah. At, at a minimum, you know. <laughs> um, before we get too deeper into stuff, I am curious about beatbox talk. Yeah. So it seems like it's a battle platform, maybe more than that as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I made it about two years ago on a platform called Discord, which was originally like a voice platform for gamers to like connect and like play with each other. But uh, slowly like music servers started popping up and uh, there was a platform called Human Beatbox that started a server back in 2016 after we gathered with them in the 2016 American Champs. And we talked with each other and we we're like, this is a really good idea. We can connect with beatboxers a lot better when live events aren't happening. And so they popped up their own server. I helped out there for a little bit. I slowly like rose up on the ranks there. And their activity slowly died out because they were really busy with other avenues of human beatbox. They're like a big news. They're kind of like the main news area for beatboxing. They write articles and stuff online. So they were busy with that. And Crazy. yeah, like the, the discord slowly uh, was, you know, too hard for them to control. So it slowly died out. And I was like, OK, we need to make a new beatbox server one that I can run fully and have more control over because I have the time to dedicate to it. And boom, the beatbox talk discord popped up. And then now it's, you just had your, the competitions on there. And yeah. Yeah. So I have one more question about that. And then, so I know you said you competed online and then went to compete in real life. Is it possible? So I noticed beatbox talk was online. Totally. The competition. Yeah. Yeah. Is it possible today to just exist online as a beatboxer or yeah. <laughs> is there yeah. a jump to the stage that's got to happen? Yeah, yeah, there really are. Uh, like I actually Definitely. started live. Um, I didn't go on the online scene first. Like I knew about it, but I was just beatboxing at home when I was young. Uh, mm -hmm. Like I was a lot younger than most people there. So I just like was too nervous to talk to people. I thought I was going to get judged, et cetera. Um, but you know, now there are platforms like TikTok and Vine and there are beatboxers who don't go to live events at all right. and that are just making videos, getting millions of views and yeah, it's working for them. Word. So you're a battler. Do you battle at all? I do here and there. I've, I've have definitely have, there's actually a pretty good battle between me and uh, honeycomb on YouTube. It's, 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 it's from a while back, but it's a pretty good battle. No, there's like no winner because we're both so different. Yeah, that's, that's what I was that's, wondering. That's where that's where I, like even me and him, I know our styles are completely different. He comes from the battling, the battling scene, the the everything what he's seen because he's younger. He's seen different than what I seen. I, I grew up on the Rozelle thing, and right, you know what I mean. Different beatboxes, but we know as beatboxes where it all started from. And we all, you know, have a respect for each other. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, that's why beatboxing is like, it's it's a lost art. But if you're in it, it's a whole new world. It's a whole new world. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. Like, it it gets it's crazy. Like humanbeatbox.com, uh, Swiss Beatbox. There's just so many beatbox platforms, and I'm glad he's doing something about it around here, because we need we need the stuff like that. You know what I mean? That's and I need to connect with you after this so yeah, we can uh, get on that platform. <laughs> That's what this <laughs> yeah, is for about. Sure. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I was wondering about the different styles because I know from just real, um, like actual beat battles, like yeah. there's certain producers who there's a type of beat that right. wins at battles, mm -hmm. and then there's a type of beat right. that an MC wants to get on. It. Right, yeah, exactly. That's the thing. So Man. it's all hip hop too. At the end of the day. So you said that that I'm going to jump ahead because I had a question about that. It seems to me. Like, obviously, the roots are in the cypher. Like, hip-hop roots definitely at the core. Yeah. Do y'all feel, like, when you're out of the cypher, is it, like, its own thing now? Or do you still feel connected to that community and that culture? 
I mean, like, what do you mean as in, like, when, you're, when we're having a cypher? No, like, like once you're or, out of that, like, if I'm looking oh, okay. at, you know, someone on Human Beatbox, I'm not familiar with right, it. Right, right. Like, yeah. do you, so you, obviously, you say you're very, into, you came up with the Razel with yeah, the side. Yeah, Do you still feel like the kids coming up on your thing have that connection? Um, I'd say most, not really. I think I actually am a lot closer than most people my age right now. Like, I love hip-hop. Uh, like old school hip hop is my favorite genre uh, and I take a lot of influence and to be honest I don't even know if my style is meant for battling. I just need it. I needed to tweak it more for battling and hey. yeah, yeah, it's just a different thing for sure Yeah, word. See, that's that's again what I'm saying like we got to remember, you know beatboxing where it originated from hip-hop It was when you know the DJ wasn't around MC needed a beat You know what I'm saying? Like that it that element it, it came from hip hop. So like this like you're saying before, like there's people that start beatboxing like just in front of a camera and don't even realize like I don't know if I don't know what it's like now. I don't know if people don't know who Razel is and they're still beatboxing. Like Yeah. It's like the new rappers like how they don't know who Biggie is and Tupac is, but they They know them but maybe they, not rock they, him, you know. Right. It, yeah. Exactly, exactly. But like, I don't know, beatboxing, it, ha it has its weird place at the same time, but it's, it's a big place. So. Okay. Yeah. I think it's because it's expanding to so many other genres uh -huh. besides hip hop, that's uh -huh. making it like maybe slowly uh, drift away. And there's not as many events right now that are really combining the two art forms together. Mm -hmm. Like you don't really have like rap beatbox battles there's a right. few that exist, but like there's not that many, especially in the U.S. Like there's no established battle where those two art forms really mix. Yeah. True. And now you have genres like you know drum and bass, like grime, trap, yeah, like yep. etc. And you know it's it's a whole different world now. You know I'd love to definitely keep that connection with hip hop, and I think it'll definitely develop slowly as there's more money put into the beatbox scene. That's definitely one of the things that the scene's working on right now. It's like getting the sponsors, et cetera. Do you think some of that is on like MCs and other people who are curating these events to like reach out to y'all though? The, yeah, you, you, that's a great question because like I would have to remind people like, yo, you should use me for this uh, or, you know what I mean? When it should be like them reaching out to add a little something to their, to their set, you know what I mean? But like, that doesn't really happen, and it should. Yeah. It's like not as many people are looking for the raw, like, human sound. Yeah. Like, and they're, they're not, like, looking into it because from compared to, like, 10 years ago to now, uh, people are getting really close to making their beats sound, like, pretty realistic. Like, it, it's getting a hard to tell yeah, for some beatboxers. Seriously. Because the, the technology now and if... People, the thing is about beatboxing, we, we're hands-on, so like obviously we're gonna go in the studio and do a little clicking. When I might not be like an engineer, but we know how to get the job done. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Just because we know sound. That's the big thing about being a beatboxer. You you know sound. You know rhythm. You know it's it's very particular. So, do you guys have placements on records? Do any of you have MCs like I have uh, I have a track with uh S T Knack and um Purpose on their Seven Gems album where oh like word. we did like an interlude where we were all like it sounded like we was outside and they seen me and like like they called me over and then I just stopped beatboxing and they did like a cipher outside. But in re in reality I just went in the studio, beatbox for like ten minutes. Yeah. Left. About a few months later, I heard this masterpiece, yeah. and I'm like, whoa! Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just, it's pretty dope. But, like, yeah, I, I had a few features Word. here and there. Yeah, yeah I, I don't have any right now. Uh, I'm, like, I live in a suburb of Boston, and, you know, there's hip-hop is not really a thing where I where I live right now. That's and also, wild, Yeah, know. yeah. <laughs> just at my age, like, nobody... Crazy. I, I don't have people to connect with. Like, yeah. I need to get closer to the city, and... As I get older, I'm going to make the move that's closer to the city to connect with people. Yeah, you're still mm -hmm. relatively young. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you are young. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, I, yeah I need definitely. to graduate high school first. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Relative isn't even the word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
So, it, so if people do want to connect with you now, though, where do they get you at? What's the best way? Uh, you can DM me on Instagram, send an email. My Instagram's decoy beatbox, D K O Y beatbox, one word, no spaces. What about you? Uh, Chop of the beatboxer, C H O P P A, the with a A T H A. Beatboxer with a A B E A T B O X A <laughs> on Instagram. So that's that's pretty much what I use. I don't really use anything else right now. That's IG's number one right now. Yeah, yeah. I was trying to think of even how many songs I knew that had beatboxes in them in general, and I it's one right. hand I can name it. Right. All. But it used to be at the level. Um, Timbaland would do a little beatboxes of course, at the end of his songs of and course. mix it in. Like there's, it's sprinkled in stuff. Yeah, and, and, yeah. Uh, it doesn't get enough light. It's it's always just a dash. Yeah. You always just get a dash. And that's like, like, I mean, it's up to, you know, people like us to keep that stuff going. You know what I mean? Like making new music, making new sound and creating these new avenues for beatboxes where they can make music, not just beatbox. I hear that. So let me, while we're talking about that, um, can you talk, so you're talking a bit about, it seems like there's a lot of like weight on you guys to hold this thing up. Right. Like what is, for someone who doesn't know what the scene is like, like what is the beatbox culture, if you could sum it up? I mean, <clears throat> the beatbox culture is always what it's going to be, but you kind of got to create create your own space in it at the same time because it's it can be dead and and if you're not doing nothing you know it could be dead like you you're, you're growing up wherever you grew up you said the hip-hop scene isn't all there it's not like you can go around the corner and find someone beatboxing but like i came up in lynn right now there's always open mics going on there's there's a nice community when it comes to music in my city right now with the local artists yeah so like it's a continuance like i'm just lucky to grow up around that era you know what i mean and i know these people where i can do this whereas you you have to kind of find it you have yeah. to put yourself out there create these platforms you know which is what we need yeah. because like i said it's up to people like us to keep the stuff going and you creating that platform is huge it's huge yeah thank you man awesome yeah, I think like the the culture right now is really battle driven, which mm -hmm. um, I don't think is that healthy for our community in its growth path. Although like slowly, you know, more variety in the scene is growing. Um, as you were talking about, like songs with beatboxing being infused, uh, they're actually slowly starting to pop up more and more. Mm -hmm. um, some beatboxers made albums, yep. uh, some names like Napalm. He's uh, the American champ, vice world champ. He has like an album where it's pretty much pure beatboxing with, you know, some EQing on there. And it sounds pretty nice. It has like over a million streams now on uh, Spotify. So All right. it's, it's All getting right. there. Yeah. Shout out. Yeah. yeah. It sounds very like solo though. Like are you guys clicking up a lot or are you like, do you have mentors? Do you have like people you're locking in with or is it kind of you go and try to fit in? into a bigger puzzle where you can well like it, it's it's like being a hip-hop artist you know what i mean like everyone has their own lane but when it's time to collab it's time to collab and where the right energies fit together yeah that's what happens like that's why like you know some people be like oh man if these two was together oh that would be so dope and it ends up happening anyways because just that's how the universe works because that energy attracts each other but right like like I said, it's just like hip hop artists. Like we all have our solo thing, but like with the energies, right? We'll collab. You know what I mean? And and it's unlimited when it comes to beatboxing because you can collab with anyone. Yeah. Any two different sounds together are gonna sound crazy. You know yeah. what I mean? So. I'd say the one like upside to the beatbox scene right now is like the top of the top, the ones that are you know have the biggest outreach right now, at least for me and like i don't have a huge following right now like nothing crazy i can hit them up you know based off me doing pretty well in these battles like they hear my name since the community is smaller compared to like the rap scene you know yeah. like i can a rapper can just message eminem and just like ask for feedback right uh, on a on a couple lines yeah but right, right. i could like send a send a beat to 
you know, one of the top beatboxers in the world, and they'd get back to me within a couple of days, you know. Yeah. That's, that's, that's dope. dope. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They're really humble right now. Yeah, that's that's what I like about, too, like the beatbox community. They're all humble at the end of the day, don't matter who has titles and all that, because it all brings us together at the end of the day. And, and that's another thing I like about it, too, or I really love about it, because it reminds me of, like, the b-boy battles is that the skin color it don't matter yeah we never even look at that at all we we just come to respect the craft shake hands and we we're gonna be friends at the end of this yeah That's it's a up. battle but you know it is what it is this is this is what we do and we all here to do the same thing and have fun at the end of the day you know what i mean Word. And, it, yeah. and it and it and it makes us happy at the end of the day so, yeah. You know what I mean? You're just yeah. smiling, talking about yeah, it. Yeah, right, like exactly. Yeah. Like, this is something I imagined when I was a kid walking to school, listening to Razel, and then now I know Razel where, like he said, I can hit Razel up and be like, yo, what's up? And he'll hit me back. You know what I mean? Fire. It's dope. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like, what's the point of making <clears throat> enemies with somebody before you even hear what can come out of their mouth? Right. right. There's no point. No, yeah. no. So before we get into this next song, um, for someone who's tuned in, they've been messing around at home, they got a few things, and they want to get out on the playground, you know, how would you recommend they get started? Mm. In the shower. <laughs> 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 Just beatbox in the shower, yo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'd say it's really weird. Like, the, the main social platform to stay up to date with events is Facebook. Yeah. For beatboxing. I don't know if a lot of scenes are really oriented on Facebook, but you that know sounds like a nightmare to me, man. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't I don't Facebook. <laughs> yeah. I haven't had Facebook since two thousand twelve. So yeah. You, Crazy. Yeah. Get but out nah, to a I live get it. event. Yeah. I get but it. Facebook, though, they have so a community. Like, yeah. Get, on Facebook yeah, get out to a live event. Everyone's welcoming there. You yeah. know, that's the real scene online, you know, with beatbox talk, the scenes before that existed online were known to be like toxic and like because when you're hiding behind a screen, you're not worried about what someone's going to say to you, yeah. what you're going to say to somebody. But me coming from the live scene to the online scene, I can kind of moderate it in a way that we're almost still at a live event. So I think that's helped out with the growth of beatbox yeah, stuff. That's what's up. Yeah. Yeah, the live events can be, I guess, intimidating, but you definitely got to... I mean, there's nothing that beats it in terms <laughs> of, like, seeing what you got. Yeah. Right. Sharpening up. Right. Yeah. So, like I said, I was trying to think of some records that have beatboxing in it. And Ack and Liff have that fat-ish part two. So oh, word. we're going to get into that. we we'll back after this. You tuned into LFOD Radio. <laughs>
the ghost in my closet. <laughs> FOD radio. We still got Chop of the Beatboxer yeah, yeah. and Decoy with us. So, when did you decide, okay, this is what I do. This is how I express myself. Uh, I'm a beatboxer. Well, for me, I mean, it was probably two different times where, like, you know, in high school, there was a talent show, me and my friend. We used to go by the name of Mr. Them, and we we used to beatbox together. And like the the reaction we got after the fact it was like people were talking about it for like a week. I was like, what the hell? But when I went to Fl- I lived in Florida for a little while after high school, and I did a show, a, a quick quick talent show. Like you know, anybody want to come up? Hundred dollars we're giving away. You know, come up, show your talent. It was in Daytona Beach in Florida. It was a car show. Funk Master Flex was there. LL Cool J was there. I get I call up to the stage and I do my thing and I never got like that type of reaction before in my life. I had people coming up to me saying, "Yo, you're better than Rozelle. I was like, "What? What are you talking <laughs> Chill. about? <laughs> Chill. You, you you're saying too much right yeah. now. Nah. And then I was like, "Wait a minute." I was like all this type of people coming up to me, I'm like, what the hell? I need to, I need to do this. Like, this is what I need to do. When I move back over here, MySpace grind. <laughs> That's when it started for me, man. That's yeah. when I knew I had to. I was like, I got to do this. I got to do this. And the reaction every time never changed. Word. Still to this day, it's the same reaction. So I'm like, stoked for what's coming up here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Front row seat. Hell yeah, you got it all up oh, close and personal. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, man? Oh, it's hard. It's really hard to remember. Like to be honest, I was seven, seven, eight, maybe something like that. I have a video on YouTube when I was ten, beatboxing. That's the first YouTube video Easy. you're gonna see of me. Yeah. Uh, like 20, 2011 or 2012. Hold something. on, state your age so people know how old you are. Uh, I'm 17 years old. I'll be 18 in January. Word. Yeah. I am now years old, okay? I don't. I state noticed, my age. That. <laughs> <laughs> noticed that. Too. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> there was but, literally only this moment ever. So <laughs> Exactly. I, there's, no, there's no such thing as time. That's another my conversation. Guy, we're on the same, yeah. But, <laughs> but, you know, in Babylon age, I am 32. Word. Word. <laughs> Yeah, but I was like... Uh, That's crazy. Wow. I, I watched breakdancing videos. I knew I was doing something with breakdancing before beatboxing. Probably on YouTube, I saw like a recommended video off of a breakdancing video to a beatbox battle. And I remember one of the first beatbox battles that I saw is uh, this guy named Darnie versus Crin yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, after that video, like... That's when beatboxing really stuck to me. There was like a really funny part where uh, I think Darnie, I, I don't want to say the wrong person, but one of them 
brought out flowers and like gave it to the other person like went down on his knees and it was just a really funny battle moment that like stuck in my head for a long time and he's still my favorite beatboxer to this day and now I like talk to him and like play games with him sometimes and I met him in real life uh, when I went to uh, Poland in uh, two years ago which was another like checkpoint in my beatboxing uh, I went out of the country for the first time for beatboxing I met all these European beatboxers, which is, like, the hub of the last, like, two decades. Of course. Uh, course. Like, Poland? Yeah. Uh, no, not Poland, like, Europe in general. Yeah, Europe. Poland's yeah. just become, like, a place where a lot of events are hosted because it's really cheap. So for a community like ours, uh, a lot of people can get in all around Europe since it's near the center, and it's just really cheap. So renting out venues is great. So. Yeah. I love it. It's international. Whole yeah. new international world. Rap. Yeah, yeah. Whole new world. I'm yeah. telling you. No, that's fire too. Like one ill thing y'all have going for you is like, I feel like folks your age, like you can just make stuff happen so fast. Like if you want it, you can just me thinking about being 15 and getting flown to do, I barely knew what I wanted to do when I was 15, but if right, you have right. any idea like right. early now, you right. can just go yeah, and just get pursue it, it and it's wild and focus on it. And there's a platform. You just, there's technology, you know what I mean? It's just, it's all there. Yeah. What you going to do with it? Like, yeah. So that being said, what are your goals as a beatbox? <clears throat> Ooh, good question. You know, right now I'm just trying to establish as many like avenues, you know, with beatbox talk, uh, having like the online battles, eventually getting like cash prize battles as a way to, you know, get beatboxers online to maybe get the money to travel to live events. Cause that's like a big problem on a lot of online beatboxers. They're younger and they don't have the money to make it to live events or their parents won't let them, et cetera. If they can show their parents that, Hey, you know, I just got a hundred bucks for winning this battle. That's how you slowly shift your parents' view on it. And that's how I've slowly shifted it. Um, for those who don't know, like my parents are immigrants. I'm first gen. They came from Russia. Okay. So, you know, they come from a Soviet background and they're, for, for me to do something like beatboxing, it's really different. And for them to accept that in the beginning was really tough. And they still haven't really accepted it. I'm just, I'm just focusing tunnel vision on these beatbox goals. And slowly, as I accomplish more and more, they become, you know, more acceptable. And, I mean, they let me go to Poland. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to say they're not supportive to an extent. Right. They absolutely are um, more than a lot of others. But, you know, there's a lot of barriers that I had to break through in that sense. So. To answer your actual question, there's just a lot yeah. to talk about. Uh, with Beatbox Talk, host battles, and eventually go to the live battle scene through the through the money we can get through Beatbox Talk. We have like a big Patreon support. So nice. we're going to get to live events. And uh, I want to make a Beatbox curriculum, like a written out 12-week course, and hopefully get that put up. And, you know, that will help the progress of people trying to learn it. Uh, become a lot faster and do live gigs. There's a lot of stuff. There's a whole array, but I want to do it all. Right I, love I, wanna, it. Yeah. I love it. I love it. You don't even know what it's going to happen, but it's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited now. Yeah. That's dope, man. Yeah. Keep doing your thing. So what about you, man? What are your goals? Like, why do you do this? I mean, I just, like, it, it makes me feel good, that reaction that I get coming off stage and just people are just, like, blown away. And it's just, like... I love beatboxing because it's a lost art, but then that's like almost the reason why I don't like it. Like I never not like it, but I'm saying like in a figuratively speaking, like that's why I don't like it because it's a lost art. Like how do not people don't know about this? Right. I have to like <clears throat> ask the crowd, like how many people know about beatboxing? Only like a few people's hands go up and they're like, what? Right. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. That's why like, but I love it because, like, you know, I can wake people up to it at mm -hmm. the same time, you know, and you never know, like, who's who's watching. A little kid could be watching and he hears it and then all of a sudden he wants to beatbox just from hearing me. You know what I mean? Like, I would love to hear that, like, <clears throat> later down the line, just like some kid telling me or a younger cat coming up to me, like, yo, I used to listen to you and Word. yo, you influenced me. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that right there is like, kind of why I do it, you know what I mean? And 
the goal at the end of the day is like I want to make music but like <clears throat> I'm so like I'm such a perfectionist that like I haven't came out with something like on a solo project yet. Word. Like I, I I'm always open for features, <clears throat> always. But like, I want my project to be like right. You know what I mean? Like, I just don't want it to be like some beatbox and like I hear what's what's out right now. Like you said, like the beatbox and loop producing thing is on the rise, and then just like you, you can almost can't even tell it's beatboxing. But like, like I just want to make sure everything is like perfect yeah. you know what i mean like it's gonna take a minute like i probably won't come out with a project for like at least another year like because i know like it's it's got to be right you know what i mean you know at a certain point you just gotta <clears throat> let it go though right no oh, yeah I know yeah a lot of artists that like <laughs> yeah. never put anything out no there. no i understand it's I never understand. gonna be right to you but exactly someone else might. <laughs> exactly exactly but that's why i gotta test the waters too at yeah. the same time you know a little five track something you know right. what i mean like a little mixtape or something just so people can get a gist of like what's what's the sound that we're gonna hear you know what i mean like because I, I i do like to rap too okay but like i don't like to rap because everyone else raps yeah. but like you know it's like all right if i'm gonna rap i gotta make sure that's different from everybody else and <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know it's 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 crazy and like and it's tough for like boston artists because we never had our own sound yeah <clears throat> i mean joiner right now token right now they have their sound but like it's influenced sound yeah it's not like it's been a while since we've had like a pop and original artist like i don't think this comes up a decent amount out here i really don't know if Boston like is supposed to have a sound or if it right. will. I it's think so like weird. the strength is that people are pretty good. You can get all the different flavors here and there's right. someone who's That's sort of mastered I mean. each one. Like an influence sound. That's what I mean. Yeah. But like it's it's hard to, it's hard to like, you know, have that thing where it's like, wow, that person's that different. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's tough. Like that's why I want to be that guy. You know what I mean? I kind of want to be that guy. Look, like, he's beatboxing. He's doing this. He's doing that, and doing. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he's performing. Like, It'd like be dope to thing. hear you beatbox then rap on it. Yeah. Right. If you got a loop <clears throat> pedal, you can do I it have live. It. So you already know. I already yeah. have. Yeah, that's you what I mean. Know. Yeah, I already okay. like I've <laughs> I done it. Like not to like a a whole song track level, but like I do shows now where it's like straight vibe. Like I'll have a singer with me. Or like a, a rapper, we just all just do a soul cipher. We call it word, and it's and it comes out dope every time. I got some. Time. I want to plug you in with some people after this. Like, oh yeah. So it's dope to hear you guys like where you guys come at it from. Mm -hmm. So once again, you know, we talked about someone who wants to get out there and do it, and you were talking about putting together a curriculum too. So I'm putting you on the spot here. Word. Someone's, they're listening, they've got rhythm, they've got their basic drum kit figured out. What's a gem you could drop for them to take it to the next level? Repetition and breath control, <laughs> mm. I would say. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. Uh, this is a gem. This is a gem right okay. here. Okay. Uh, Talk to him. Okay, so... The it, you have your drum kit right, but a lot of people when they're beatboxing, they don't see their minds as like a, a DAW. They don't see their mind as like FL Studio or you know uh, Ableton or whatever okay. they're producing on. And within those kinds of uh, like softwares, you have all those knobs you can tweak on on those sounds. You can uh -huh. change the pitches. You can change like like small details and to really differentiate your style from others it's really in those details what you do because you could have a kick but you could pitch it a certain way that nobody else pitches it yeah. and now that's your kick you know okay D don't focus as uh, don't focus at them as just individual sounds there's a whole like scale you can make like you you don't just do scales with melodies you can pitch your hi hats you can pitch your kicks like Producers see that, but beatboxers, for some reason, and when I was younger, I also never really thought of it like that. So, yeah, just the details is what matters. Yeah, don't limit yourself. Like, 
That's dope that you look at it like that. That's like, why. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I yeah. love that. Yeah. Yo, sign up for his course. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's, it's when you can break stuff down, like, in that sense, when you can make it, like, so, like, a three-year-old can understand it, that's when you're wise. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's dope. That's awesome. So, what was... So I come from a drumming background, and I got a little beatbox. I got a little, you know, something going on. Everyone can beatbox. I'm <laughs> telling you. <laughs> there's, I know, like, drumming, there was, like, a, there, in every craft, there's, like, that one piece that you're smashing your head against, and once you break through that, like, it's open and you're free. Like, right. What was the hardest piece for you to get down and for you? Like, what was the thing when you were learning that, like, you just couldn't get past for, for a minute? Hmm. I would say, uh, I don't know, it's tough because, like, I'm usually, like, I'll mimic a sound and I'll be able to just do it. But, like, there's some sounds still I don't have to this day that I want to learn and I just probably need the right person to teach me. <laughs> yeah. I've never looked at anyone to teach me because I've always taught myself. Okay. So I would always just listen. You know, noise is nothing but, you know, frequency and vibration. Right. It's just, like, you got to match that frequency and vibration and that tone. And I used to always like mimic people's voices if they had like a funny voice or, you know, just do any little thing. And that's what works. So you're me. like a sampler. He's, he's yeah. tweaking the knobs. You're yeah, sampling. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I would say that. So yeah. yeah, I know. Even though you, we haven't even heard us yet. I, that's, I think you're on point with that one. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Straight up. Yeah. Uh, I remember, like, like, this is recent, like, just uh, just now, pretty much, this barrier that I'm slowly getting through. I don't even know if I can say I'm fully through it yet, and that's creating, like, routines. Okay. So hmm. I always freestyled. Mm -hmm. Like, it, it's just, uh, like, like I'm, I was self-taught, too, for many, many years. And, uh, like, that beatboxer that I mentioned, Darnie, uh, my favorite one, I eventually got a lesson with him. And that was one of the things that he told me, like all that, the knob tweaking, wow. that kind of, that kind of perspective. And that just shifted a lot for me. Um, yeah. So for me, it's like the, the routine part, freestyling is cool, but being able to repeat something like the exact same way more than once, that's when you truly perfected it. Mm. That's how you get really ready for a battle. Like at the American champs this year, I was still freestyling like most of it. Okay. Mm. And you know, that's why I think I lost at the point where I did. I think I could have gone even further than where I did if I had, like, routines fully set. And I had a few, but I didn't have enough to do it every single round. Yeah. And I think at the level that beatboxing is getting to now, you need to know it, what you're doing exactly, like, to the mm -hmm. point. Because if you don't know, you might just uh, drop flow. And then, you know, you can just tell who's practiced what they're doing more than the other person. Yeah, and a routine yeah. is the best proof of that. All right. So before we hear you guys, because like I'm getting antsy, like I just want to skip these <laughs> questions. Um, so well, two more things. Bringing it back, you mentioned like you want to, you know, it seems like there's a lot of work to be done in your scene. You both kind of are coming oh, yeah. at that. Oh, yeah. What is one thing, like, if you had, like, like a wish? Like, what's one thing you would change? <clears throat> um, definitely uh, making music. <laughs> that would be me right now. Like, I could definitely be doing it. It's like, and the winter time's coming. It's a little slower for work for me. So definitely could be making music. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if necessarily change, but add. Um, yeah. Like, France right now is the biggest country for beatboxing, like, the highest level. And the really? reason is that, like, there's so many people that are community-oriented, and they're doing things at their houses. Like, they invite other beatboxers to their house. In the U.S., it's a lot harder since the beatboxers are a lot more spread out. But now, like, I didn't know Choppa really till today. And, you know. I didn't know him either. So it, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, we live, what, tops 30, 40 minutes exactly. away. Right. Do an event, like, just invite somebody to your house to jam, record a video, throw it online, just that kind of stuff. Yeah, people need to be more supportive of each other, mm -hmm. give mm -hmm. more shout-outs. Like, everyone's just 
in their own path, which is dope. But you kind of, if you combine that path, you have a stronger force. With a new scene, you need to have more people pushing the same idea, and that's how you really get outreach. Hard. So to close that off, like, what's something we could do, like LFOD, to help y'all achieve these goals? Like, uh, what I first reached out to you about the, you know, throwing in a beatbox with your ciphers. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just having that element still there because it's, again, a lost art. You know what I mean? It's underground now. Yeah. But at the same time, it's overground if you in it. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So definitely that. I would definitely say you guys could help me out with that. You know what I mean? Word. This You already helped me out with this guy, so like I know we're going to connect after this. So, Word. You know, I'm all about networking, working with the next guy, and helping each other out because that's that's what it's about yeah and we lack that out here a lot so like we got to change it and it's up to us word so we'll get you in a cypher word Word. yeah yeah i'm actually really in line with that like maybe even an event like as big as that like we could make one episode literally a rap beatbox like improv battle right and just pair two people up and then they get like 10 minutes to prepare something then you got two mics go at it okay and back and forth there you go i just don't know a lot of rappers i don't know a lot of producers like (laughs) yeah (laughs) yeah so yeah with that kind of community who knows what kind of albums could be coming out even next year and even if like you know artists that are already established want to just showcase word we could just improvise just the beatbox, you know what I mean? And they can throw a 16 or whatever the case may be. I'm with it. Yeah. yeah. So many avenues with it. That's what I love about beatboxing. Like, there's, it's just so free. Like, it's open. Like Right. You can literally jam with any other instrument, too. Right. Or anything. Right. So, and, I can, yeah. and we can literally do, it like, any event. Yeah. It doesn't matter the type of right. event. It really doesn't. Yeah. Word. <laughs> well, we'll definitely start talking about events. But besides that, and we're all about connecting dots and stuff like that and encouraging that so anybody you're trying to link with who you've seen come here before come through here just and this goes for every artist that's been through here like scroll through the uh the past episodes there's stuff 150 plus and if there's someone you're trying to connect with you know happy to help words for sure you know yeah so yeah that's that's cool man yeah i appreciate y'all coming through this is like it's definitely different than what you thought at first oh yeah but um (laughs) i'm excited for it Oh, yeah. So before we hear this, because it's about to happen, how would you guys describe your styles? Uh, was that uh, was that CD at Beast? Beast, <laughs> shout out the record company. <laughs> I just, I had one word. I would, I would just say Beast. Ooh, okay. It's tough I, to follow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm still like developing my style. Like I could be a completely different beatboxer in like a couple months from now and not do any of the similar stuff that I do today but as of recently people like I've grown a lot from my GBB wildcard which is the biggest beatbox battle in the world okay and I was one spot away from making it there so uh, yeah I see I I ranked 11th and uh, people went crazy over my whistles is that Germany? Uh, it's happening in Poland this year it Uh used yeah Everything's in Poland right now in yeah, Europe. Right, right, right. Yeah. So whistles, I'd say. Yeah. I peeped that. So I'm pretty good. Gary, did, have you did you peep his stuff? I you haven't even the whistles. <laughs> I didn't even know it's like birds chirping. Oh yeah. damn, see like yeah, you're gonna have to teach me something. So <laughs> <laughs> All right. So and people if they wanna connect with you, it's at Choppa the oh. Beat Beatboxer. Yes, sir. And All with A's. I was gonna say <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And two X's. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and D-K-O-Y B-Box Yeah, that's right Where get at them Y'all can connect with us At LFOD Radio LFOD Life On Facebook We'll be back with another new episode next week Make sure y'all subscribe So you can get that right away We are on most podcast apps But if you can't find us on yours Let us know We'll get it added Check the YouTube, too, if you haven't. That's got video from interviews. It's got the extra bars, which is what we do with MCs on here. It's going to have this footage that we're about to record right after this of these guys doing a couple rounds. And uh, the more you subscribe to, the less I have to remind you to subscribe. Shout out to our patrons for making this all 
possible. If you don't know what that means, patreon.com slash L-F-O-D life. Artists and managers, clean records, submissions at L-F-O-D radio dot com. Send them over. And once again, shout out the record company for letting us, uh, you know, bless their space here Word. and keep it warm for them. Seriously. We'll be back with some battles after this. No, no, no. With some, <laughs> these he guys wants us battle. to battle. No, 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 no. Well, he, he's putting it out there constantly. He's like, yo, what have you brought? You know, now it's a rap battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. Like, um, <laughs> we'll be back with an exposition after this to tune into LFOD Radio. to do like a post game interview like this was not planned but yeah. it was like you guys had been working on that like the switches like right, right. what was going on like it, that's what i'm saying like beatboxing is like a language like we just know how to communicate with sound we know where to transition just like it's it's so hard to explain it's like we're operating in another dimension like it <laughs> seriously is like I don't know him from a hole in a wall just yeah. until today. And it's like we can connect like that just through beatboxing. And it's amazing. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You can just tell by like looking in the other person's eyes or like yeah. just the way their hands are moving. Body movements. Yeah, yeah. This is where I'm going next. Come yeah, with me. Okay, exactly. Let's go. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I think uh I think we could definitely do some things though, like whereas our our styles are different. But like it's still on the same line, you know what I mean? He's still got that hip hop flavor, which I can hear, even yeah. though he still has the battle type yeah. element with him too as well. And it's dope. It's dope. You gonna have to teach me that whistle. Yeah, <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah, man. Cause yeah, that was ill. The um just like tuning in, I think there was like wait, maybe one part where you got one of you zig and the other zag, but like it blew my mind the when you switched to it, when you switched the drums yeah. and then you came on yeah. in the scratch and like like you just started like yeah. moving the turntable yeah. and somehow he caught where it was gonna go. Yeah. Like and he switched on a dime yeah. to your yeah. scratching and yeah. like obviously like at the same time though. He didn't yeah. hear you start first. Yeah, yeah. That was crazy to me. So dope. So dope, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, it was wicked fun, man. Like I don't do this often with other beatboxers, and it's crazy that so many beatboxers live so nearby. 
Yeah. We don't even know each other, but like, hopefully, you know, after this episode, after this, you know, I can touch base with this guy, hit up his platform and the beatbox talk and all that good stuff. And yeah. I'm going to need one of these fly jackets, <laughs> chopper on the back. <laughs> you got to make that happen, man. Yeah. That's what's up. I mean, I don't want to jinx it, but potentially viral clip right there. <laughs> <laughs> Come maybe, on. Maybe, like, yeah. that was wild. Yo, thank you. That was dope, y'all. I knew it was going to be something, but that was even more than I expected. So thank, thank you man. both for being here. Hey, Word. I appreciate it. Word. Yeah.